back in August 2007, a girl named Sophie was out walking with her boyfriend Robert. While walking through Stubbly Park in Bacup, they were attacked by a group of teenage boys. Sophie had severe head injuries which put her into a coma. She never regained consciousness and died 13 days later. Between 10 past 1 and 20 past 1 early hours on the 11th of August 2007, Sophie and Robert were walking home when they came across a gang of teenagers at the entrance to the park, who then followed them through the park. The gang assaulted Robert, knocking him unconscious, and Sophie was trying to protect her boyfriend, like shielding him, trying to keep the gang off him so they wouldn't hurt him. But they attacked Sophie as well. A 15 year old witness told police they were running over and just kicking her in the head and jumping up and down on her head. Another witness called the emergency services and asked for police. Afterwards, the attackers had been bragging about what they'd just done to their friends. So you should see this up at the park. The right mess. Police said that it was a sustained attack during the course of which the pair received serious head injuries and their faces were that swollen. They couldn't tell which one was male and which one was female. Both Sophie and Robert were hospitalised as a result of the attack. Robert's injuries left him in a coma and internal bleeding. He recovered, but suffered memory loss of the time leading up to and during the attack. They were both sent to Rochdale Hospital at first, Rochdale Infirmary, and then moved around, uh, I think Fairfield General in Berry, and then Sophie was later transferred to Hope Hospital, which is now Salford Royal, and put on life support. Where the hospital staff determined that she would never regain consciousness. On the 24th of August 2007, her life support was terminated. She was 20 years old. Lancashire Police arrested five teenagers after Sophie's death. All five were charged with Sophie's murder and grievous bodily harm with intent for the assault on Robert. After the trial, two were charged with murder and given life sentences. The other three were charged with GBH. A detective superintendent for Lancashire Police said it was one of the most violent murders he had come across in his career. Also, he said, I do not think that the two boys charged with murder have recognised how violent the attack was. They've just done it without thinking, but they seem to have enjoyed it and carried on remorselessly kicking at two very defenceless people. Two very defenceless people who were unable to protect themselves because of the level of violence inflicted upon them. When one of them was initially interviewed about the assaults, he was laughing and joking with his mother. It says a lot about the parents, doesn't it? Sentencing for the case was on the 28th of April, 2008. The two were sentenced to life in prison. The judge recommended that one should serve at least 18 years and the other 16 years and three months. In the judge's closing statement, he described the attack as feral thuggery, which raised questions about the sort of society which exists in this country. He also added, at least wild animals, when they hunt in packs, have legitimate reason for doing so to obtain food. You have none, and your behaviour on that night 
degrades humanity itself. The other three also got sentenced for the GBH. One got four years and four months. The other two both got five years and ten months each. Now the reason Sophie and Robert were attacked was because they looked or dressed a little bit different to other people. Described as goths. Such a vicious attack for that reason is just unbelievable to me. Just because someone looks a little bit different, you want to kill them, beat them. Sophie's family and friends set up a website in their memory and decided to use contributions from well wishes and events held in her name to set up a special fund known as Sophie, which stands for Stamp Out Prejudice, Hatred and Intolerance Everywhere. On the 14th of June 2014, Sophie's mum, Sylvia, received an OBE in recognition of a campaign to promote a more tolerant society. Dr. Sylvia Helen Lancaster passed away on the 12th of April 2022 and was laid to rest next to her daughter here in Whitworth Cemetery. Right, so they're both buried here next to each other. I, uh, I'll go and have a look, try and find her. Should be able to, hopefully. Seen some photos and it looks like they're just in front of a, a tree line. So it shouldn't be too difficult. This cemetery is really, really nice. Never been here before. Let's find her. So, we'll start down here next to the tree line. Look at one team England. Some really nice headstones in here as well. Oh that one. So that there's actually three separate buildings. Probably three different chapels maybe, or maybe used to be. So that says, in loving memory of Sophie Louise Lancaster, 26-11-1986 to 24-8-2007, always an individual, never a copy, and then her mum, Sylvia Helen Lancaster, 26-11, no, don't, I don't know what year she was born, I can't find it online either, it just says that, question marks. 12th of 4th, 2022. Celebrated difference, fought intolerance, loving Nana. Well, rest in peace, you two.
well that's it for today hope you liked it um, don't forget to like the video comment if you want to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next one bye